I've been hanging on to my relationship with my ex-husband because I've been clinging to the glimpse of he and I when things were good. He really thinks that we're gonna get better. Um, I really don't think because even post-divorce, he can't make up for anything that he's done. He'll do like one nice thing for me and think that it makes up for four years of trauma. Basically, our relationship has been bad since my daughter was born, so it's very easy to count how long I've been waiting for him to be better to me because it's how old she is. Four years of me hoping that he'll be nice to me and hoping that he'll do anything to try to make up for the emotional abuse. Our anniversary, because he is my ex-husband as of October, but our anniversary was May 28th. Today is May 31st. I just decided that's that's where it ends. May 28th of 2024, that's where it ends. If he wants to do things for me, like fix my car or send me money, and I don't have anyone else to help me with those things, go for it. I mean, I have to see him through my kids anyways because he's narcissistic enough not to let me have alone time with the kids if I'm not entertaining a relationship with him. I feel like he might, like he could be potentially diagnosed with NPD, but he refuses to get therapy. The only time I want to talk with him one-on-one -on -one is if it's with his therapist. I think he has NPD and he's 5150 in me because my depression got so bad. So I think it's totally fine if I tell him I think he needs a therapist. I'm just saying it's really rude for you to not let your kids see their mom whether or not you and her are together. You can't hold that as an ultimatum. Like, I'm not letting you see your kids unless you make out with me. That's or if I'm alluding that we're still together. I mean, he begged me to date him again. He begged me to take him back and I fell for it. And then he had the audacity while I was in homelessness to tell me he has to keep it a secret from his friends and family that we're like trying to make things work. And that was just another hit to me showing the divorce wasn't a mistake. Like really, you can't even tell people like, yeah, we got divorced, we never went to court for it, and we regret it and we're working on it. You can't even tell people that. If you're that insecure, then it's turning you mean. And I want somebody kind. When he first started dating me, he told everybody that I was sweet. He loved how sweet I was. And the fact of the matter is I became less and less sweet after dealing with him being mean. I started being mean back to him. I had kids, I felt trapped with him. Basically, as soon as we had my daughter and he didn't help a bit in my postpartum, when I had a one-year-old and a newborn, I had this doomsday unsettling feeling of shock that I had kids with the wrong person. That being said, I downloaded a dating app that's like for a single parent and it's motivating me to get my life together for me, not for my kids, not for my ex, not for a new man, but really like get my life to be the way that I want it, feel better in my own skin, probably end up being more attractive to people looking at me. I don't work out. I cry all the time. I'm depressed and I just kind of feel ready to like be all done with this phase of my life. So wish me luck and let's see my little glow up journey.